Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 3 where we are learning about trigonometry. This is episode number 12 and friends today's topic is trigonometric ratios for 90 degree angle. In the last episode we looked at what are the values of 6 trigonometric ratios for 0 degrees angle and today we are going to find out the values of trigonometric ratios for 90 degree angle. As we always do, friends, whenever we want to do a trigonometric ratio, we know first it is about an angle, and second it has to be in a right angle triangle, or a right triangle. So here we have drawn ourselves a right triangle, ABC, such that angle C is 90 degrees. And we would want to find out the trigonometric ratios for angle A. Because we are trying to find out the trigonometric ratios for 90 degrees, our goal will be to make angle A 90 degrees. How can we do that? So if we draw ourselves a right any angle, now how can we actually make this 90 degrees? Well our goal will be to take this arm, that is this arm, in this direction till we get 90 degrees. Right? So we have to continuously move this arm till we get 90 degrees and so our angle will continuously become larger or greater and greater as we move towards this. So in the context of a right triangle ABC, one way to do that is as we move the point A closer to point C, our angle A will continuously become bigger and bigger. Right? So we would want to move point A towards point C. We know that angle C is 90 degrees. So the closer that we move point A towards C, angle A or BAC will continuously go up, up and up and when point A and C coincide then angle A will be 90 degrees. So in other words this is what we would want to do. So as you can notice here the dotted lines show the original triangle. So this was the original vertex let's call it A dash. So A has moved from A dash to the new location so as you can see, our earlier angle was this, our current angle is this. So the current angle is greater than the original angle. If we continue to move it closer and closer, here we have brought it really close to point C. We have brought point A. Again, A dash is the original uh, location of the vertex A. We have really moved A very close to point C. And as you, can, as you can see, the angle A, the value of angle is becoming greater and greater as A is moving closer to C. Now before we actually merge A and C together, let's write one of the trigonometric ratios. Say we want to find out sine of angle A. We know that sine of any angle is the ratio of opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Now opposite sides, so our original triangle is ABC. For angle A, this is the opposite side, BC, right? And hypotenuse is AB. Hypotenuse, we know, is a side opposite to the 90 degree angle, right? So, our opposite side is BC. Let's write it BC. And our hypotenuse is AB. Now, let's merge the point A with point C. So this was original location of vertex A. So at this point, this angle is 90 degrees and our angle A has become 90 degrees. So we can say now, so sine for angle A which is 90 degrees, our ratio is BC by AB. So at this point, what is BC? So BC divided by AB. As you can see from the figure, because A and C are the same point, so BC and AB are the same length, so they will cancel out and you will get 1. So friends, here we have sine 90 degrees is equal to 1. So we found out our first trigonometric ratio for sine 90 degrees and the value of that is 1. Let's clean it up a little bit, give ourselves a little bit more space. So we started out with A dash showing the original location of our triangle ABC 
original location for the vertex and the dotted line shows the original triangle and now we have moved A all the way from A dash to coincide with C so our current angle is 90 degrees so we just saw that sine 90 degrees is equal to 1 what about cos 90 degrees now cos of any angle is really the ratio of adjacent side divided by hypotenuse so adjacent side was AC AC and our hypotenuse is AB now here when we have 90 degrees A and C are the same point so the length of AC is really 0 0 divided by AB we know that 0 divided by any number is actually 0 so we have cos 90 degrees as 0 so we found out sin 90 degrees is 1 and cos 90 degrees is 0 so what what can we write about tan 90 degrees we know the tan of any angle is really the ratio of sine of that angle so in this case sine 90 degrees divided by cos of that angle so cos 90 degrees so we have tan 90 degree equal to sine 90 degree divided by cos 90 degree now sine 90 degree is 1 divided by cos 90 degree is 0 so 1 divided by 0 whenever we divide any number by 0 we get undefined or not defined we cannot divide any number by 0 so friends here we have got the three trigonometric ratios now it's it's very straightforward to write for cosec 90 degree let's write cosec 90 degree cosec 90 degree is nothing but the reciprocal of sine 90 degrees right so sine 90 degrees is 1 so 1 divided by 1 is 1 similarly sec 90 degrees is nothing but the reciprocal of cos 90 degrees now we saw that cos 90 degrees is actually 0 so 1 divided by 0 so this becomes undefined and finally cot 90 degrees cot 90 degree is 1 divided by tan 90 degrees and tan 90 degrees was 1 divided by 0 so the 0 comes here so this will be actually 0 so here friends we have found out the trigonometric ratios all six trigonometric ratios for 90 degrees so let's just quickly recap sine 90 degrees is 1 cos 90 degrees is 0 tan 90 degrees is undefined or not defined cosec 90 degrees is 1 sec 90 degrees is undefined and cot 90 degrees is 0